Hi, welcome to the second part of my Syslog NG tutorial series. In this part, we cover some of the basic uh, concepts behind Syslog NG. Last time, we defined Syslog NG as an enhanced logging daemon with a strong focus on portability and high performance central log collection. Let us pull this sentence apart, as all words here are for, uh, here for a reason. The original syslog implementation was pretty simple. It collected log messages from applications and sorted them to various files. Syslog-ng enhanced this with message parsing, advanced filtering, and many more log sources and destinations. Daemon means that uh, it's an application normally running continuously in the background. Portability means that Syslog-ng runs not just on Linux, but also on various BSD and Unix systems as well. High performance means that Syslog NG is implemented in C and thus it's, it is fast and resource efficient. Depending on the configuration, even a Raspberry Pi can col uh, collect tens of thousands of log messages a second. Central log collection is one of the key concepts behind Syslog NG. Instead of or next to saving log messages locally, Syslog NG sends log messages to a central Syslog NG server. Many organizations and sysadmins are reluctant to implement central locking. Why should they implement it? There are three key reasons. Ease of, ease of use is probably the main reason why organizations implement central locking. Instead of having to log in to each individual server or work, workstation to find details about an event, there is a single place to uh, check uh, for log messages. A single grab command can search in logs received from hundreds of hosts instead of having to log in to each of them individually. Central logging also means availability. Even if the center host is down, you can check its log messages. You do not have to start uh, repairing the machine to learn why it crashed. It is enough to check the uh, centrally collected log messages. Finally, central logging also means security. When a host is compromised, one of the first things uh, on the to-do list of an attacker is removing or altering log messages. If logs are only available on the compromised host, this can sidetrack an investigation or make it completely impossible. With central logging, you have uh, much better ch uh, chances to figure out how a host was compromised. SysLogNG has four major roles. It collects log messages, processes them, filters them, and finally stores them either locally or to your remote destination. The first role of SyslogNG is collecting data. SyslogNG can collect system and application logs together. System and application logs can provide quite useful contextual data when trying to understand either side of the logs. With a focus on portability, SyslogNG can collect log messages uh, from a wide variety of platform specific sources. This includes devlog, uh, sunstreams, or journal on uh, systemd Linux systems. As a central log collector, uh, SyslogNG can uh, receive log messages through a network using RFC uh, 3164 which is often called the legacy or BSD syslog protocol and also using RFC uh, 5424 which is often referred to as uh, the new syslog. It can use UDP, TCP and TLS encrypted connections. SyslogNG can also collect logs or any kind of text data from applications using a wide variety of sources like files, sockets, pipes and even application output. It, if no, none of the uh, built-in possibilities suit your need, you can use Python to create your uh, own log sources. It is not as fast and effic efficient as C code, but you can easily implement, uh, for example, an HTTP or Kafka source uh, for SyslogNG. The next role of SyslogNG is processing data. One of the major new uh, features of SyslogNG3 was message parsing. SyslogNG can classify, normalize, and structure log messages using built-in parsers. The PattonDB message parser can find important data uh, in unstructured freeform uh, log messages. There, there are also parsers for various structured log messages like the CSV parser for tabular data, the JSON parser, 
or, or the key value parser which is uh, typically used on firewall logs. You can also rewrite log messages. Here I'm not referring to falsifying logs, but for example anonymization, which is often required by various compliance regulations. You can also enrich log messages. One way is to use the GIP parser, which can add uh, geolocation to log messages based on IP addresses. You can also create additional name value pairs based on uh, message content. Using templates, SyslogNG uh, can reformat uh, log messages uh, as required by various destinations. Some log analytics software uh, needs uh, precise timestamps, other uh, need JSON formatting, and so on. Templates allow you to comply with a wide variety of formatting requirements. Recent versions of SystogNG also include a Python parser. You can implement any of the previously mentioned features in Python. You can also use Python to enrich log messages from databases, and you can also use it for filtering. This leads us to our next role, filtering. Data filtering has two main uses. Most people only uh, know that filtering can be used to discard surplus log messages. For example, debug level messages are uh, rarely used and can take up considerable disk space, so uh, they are often filtered out. An equally important use of filtering is message routing, making sure that the right messages uh, reach the right destinations. For example, making sure that all authentication related messages reach the same system. There are many different ways in which you can filter log messages using SyslogNG. Filtering can be based on the uh, message content or various message parameters. You can use comparisons, wildcards, regular expressions, and various filtering uh, fil functions. And the best of all is that you can combine any of th these using Boolean operators. Traditionally, uh, log messages were saved to text files either locally or a remote system server. Support for SQL was added uh, first as an alternative, which, is, uh, which was followed by many other possibilities. Today, uh, you can store uh, messages to various SIEM and uh, log analytics systems, Hadoop, various NoSQL databases like MongoDB or Elasticsearch, cloud services like Sumo Logic or Slack, and also some message queuing systems like Kafka. You can write your own destinations using Java and Python as well. When you look around in the varlog directory, uh, you will see that most log messages have a similar format like this SSH login message, a date, a hostname, and some text. In many cases, the text part is almost a complete English sentence with some variable parts in it. Uh, these messages are human readable texts. Uh, this, format is, uh, this format was pretty useful when log messages were mostly read by humans. A few, few large me uh, machines administered by a large staff. However, a few decades later, both the number of hosts and log messages increased consider considerably. The amount of log messages uh, could not be followed by humans anymore. Unfortunately, these kinds of messages are difficult to interpret by machines and thus difficult to create alerts or report, reports on. Luckily, there is a solution for this problem. Instead of a freeform text, events can also be represented as name value pairs. For example, you can describe an SSH login uh, with an application name, a username, and the source IP address. The good news is that SyslogNG was built with name value pairs uh, in mind right uh, from the start. By default, all incoming uh, log messages are parsed by SyslogNG, and name value pairs are created for date, facility, program name, and other parameters. Various parsers in SyslogNG can turn unstructured and some of the structu structured log messages into name value pairs like CSV or JSON. Name value pairs allow uh, for more useful alerting and reporting. They can be also very useful when storing log messages into NoSQL databases or other services. 
I end the second part of my SysLogNG tutorial with a tricky question. Which do you think is uh, the most widely used SysLogNG version? Let me give, give you some hints. SysLogNG uh, product started in 1998. Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, uh, the most popular platform for SysLogNG servers, the SysLogNG version 3.23 uh, in Apple 8. The latest stable version uh, right now is 3.38. You can answer my question in a comment on my blog or on YouTube, or you can uh, also uh, post on uh, Twitter or Mastodon.